What's going on guys, Gitchy1230 here with more Grand Theft Auto 5, and as you can see here, I am in the new Liberator monster truck, and oh my gosh, this thing is awesome. This thing is a total beast in my opinion, and I really do enjoy it. It's a little pricey, but uh, today that's what we're going to be talking about. I'm going to be showing you guys the price, where you can get it, and a little bit of gameplay with it. So to start out... If you would like to get this uh, monster truck for yourself, what you want to do is uh, bring up your phone and go to the internet. And what you want to do is go down to the Warstock Cash and Carry. So, right about here. And there it is, part of the Independence Day uh, special. So, as you can see, it is $742,014. So, it's definitely expensive. Uh, I actually had to cave and buy a shark card because I only had like $500,000 on me. And I wasn't about to grind $250,000. So, I actually had to do that, but uh, you know, that's no problem. But anyways, um, yeah, once you do that, it will be delivered by Pegasus. This vehicle will not be stored in your garage because obviously it is much too big. You know, this could never never fit in your garage. And uh, it's also worth noting that you can only buy this vehicle until mid-July. This is kind of like the Roosevelt. Uh, it's going to be a limited time only type thing, and if you do not buy it during the Independence Day special, you will never be able to get it. So, uh, is it pricey? Yes, but is it is it manly? Uh, yes. <laughs> So let's see if we can pop a wheelie in this thing. This I haven't tried yet. Uh, let me see. Maybe if we hit it like that. No, nope, too slow. Um, so anyways, yeah, it's going to be available for about two weeks. So if you want this, you're going to have to buy it in that time frame or else you will never be able to own it. So Rockstar puts us in a bit of a, oh my gosh, a, a tough position there. So, uh, you know, you're going to definitely have a decision to make. So why don't we take this thing to the streets real quick? Um, we're not going to do any off-roading today. Uh, I will be bringing you guys an off-road video in the future. Oh, oh my gosh, we just ran over all those bodybuilders. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's just hit some cars and whatnot. Like I said, um, I will be taking this thing up Mount Chiliad in the coming days, and I will definitely film that and upload it for you guys. And uh, you can see the off-road capabilities of this. But as you can see, it goes over cars without uh, not too much problem at all. And it's uh, it also goes over guardrails and things pretty easily. Uh, if that wasn't water there, I would show you. Oh, oh, maybe I'll show you anyways. Nope. Okay, we saved it. <laughs> that was close. So, um, you know, like I keep saying, it's definitely expensive. Uh, whether it's worth it, it's gonna come down to your opinion and how much money you have. Um, you know, if you have $700,000 and you refuse to buy shark cards, then this might not be the vehicle for you. But if you've got a couple million setting around and, you know, you don't mind taking a big loss on this vehicle, then it might be worth getting. So... Um, you know, that's just my opinion. Maybe watch some videos of it, see what you think, and oh, oh, oh there we go. Negative two stun jumps remaining. Why does it say that? I don't know. And, uh, okay, we're gonna finish up this video by taking it to the skate park here, because this I haven't done yet. Um, let's see. Oh, this guy on the bike, I don't know why he's still riding around there. Oh, this is like on, uh, Nitro Circus when... Oh, you guys remember that? Some of you have seen that. I know you have. When, uh, Ryan, or what's his name? Uh, the, the guy takes the monster truck off the ramp and he does a backflip in it, and I think he actually, he doesn't actually land it and he gets hurt. Um, <laughs> I'm sure some of you guys are like, what the heck are you talking about? But, wow, okay, this thing's pretty sweet. So for the final trick, let's do a backflip off that ramp, because now I've got the cops on me, and that's not good. So, here we go, big truck and... Ah! Oh, that was a fail. That was a fail. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, like I said, stay tuned for the off-road video probably coming tomorrow or the next day. And, uh, with that, please stay tuned for more videos in the future. Bam! Oh, I will see you next time.